Hi everyone, it's Andrea and as part of my yearly roundup I am going to let you know what books I really loved this year. So I've got a few here that I absolutely adored for various reasons. They, they've all been mentioned before on my channel so you can probably find them. So these are books that I've either rated five stars or close to five stars or ones that have really stuck in my head. So the first one um, I'm going to mention is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness from an original idea by Siobhan Dowd. The film of this comes out over here on uh, January 1st and I hope to be going to see it soon. I really loved this book. I sobbed my heart out at this book. At the end when I finished the book I literally held it like that and I sat on the edge of my bed and I just cried my eyes out. It moved me, it was beautiful. This is the edition with the beautiful illustrations as well and yeah I love this book. I will be going to see the film soon so maybe it'll be uh, one of my first uh, film book TV shows uh, comparisons that I'll do because I have, keep meaning to start that I haven't started yet but I will do so yeah A Monster Calls loved it loved it the second book again is one I discovered that one was recommended by a friend and I, I got it because of the friend's recommendation this one was one I discovered on booktube which was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I saw this on Jen Campbell's channel and I thought this sounds so very me um, just simply because of all the 1980s references. I grew up in the 80s. I think I wrote in my review for my blog that if it was 2044, Halliday would be, and he was still alive, and I was alive in 2044, he'd be two years older than me. So he's sort of like my generation. So I really got it. Loved this book. I, I want to read it again absolutely fantastic. Uh, I do recommend this if you love the 80s and all that pop culture and the computer games do read it. It's 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 just brilliantly written. I love this one. And the next one is Just One Damned Thing After Another by Jodie Taylor. I must admit that I actually downloaded a free copy of this on my Kindle and never read it. And then I was just looking through books on Amazon and I came across this and I thought oh I'm gonna buy that see what it's like. Bought it, loved it, got the next six for my birthday. Um, just love it. The Disaster Magnets of St Mary's. It's sort of like, we don't call it time travel, it's observing history in contemporary time or researching history in contemporary time, but you do not call it time travel. Never, ever, ever. Um, I just love it. Um, there, Like I said, uh, there are some short stories that are only available on Audible and Kindle. And um, the next book, Book 8, comes out next year. I can't wait. I've loved the series so far. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the next two books I read this year that I loved are by the same author, and they are non-fiction. And this is The Ice Cream Blonde, The World Builds Life, A Mysterious Death of Scribble Comedian Thelma Todd and Carol Lombard, 20th Century Star by Michelle Morgan. Michelle Morgan is a British-based biographer. She lives in Northampton. She's written books on... Uh, Marilyn Monroe on Madonna, she's done a Hollywood Scandals, so she has got quite a lot of books under her belt. The next one that's coming out hopefully next year is Victorian Scandals, which I'm really looking forward to. But these two books are just beautifully written, and I've said this before, that the way that Michelle Morgan writes, it is just so beautiful. It, the narr narrative flows. This is not stilted and juddering like some biographers. It just flows beautifully from one sentence and story into the next. And she tells the stories of these two women with love and respect and, you know, the, the, the compassion that they deserve as pioneering women of their time. I mean, you know, they fought for what they got and they both died in tragic circumstances. Thelma Todd was found dead just before Christmas, uh, one year in her automobile of carbon monoxide poisoning, and Carol Lombard died in a plane crash um, after coming back from selling war bonds, all of which terribly tragic, terribly sad, but their lives are more than their deaths. And Michelle, with her works, always explores that, that the lives of these women were more than just the sum of their death. There was more to them. They accomplished more. And, and today we look on the tragedy of not just um, Thelma or Carol, but Judy Garland and Marilyn Monroe and all those people and Jean Harlow. But they were all so much more than just that one event that took their life, that one moment. 
their lives meant so much more and Michelle explores those beautifully. So I love these two. They were both five star reads from me. So thanks Michelle for publishing these. Thank you for sending me a free copy from the History Press. I loved it. Um, yeah, I love old Hollywood anyway. So those two, if you can get them, they're still available. Please go and buy them. They're available in hardback. They're also available for Kindle. So do go and get them. And finally, for my favourite books of 2016 is one that I read this month at the beginning. It's one that I still am thinking, oh no, and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I love this book. I want everybody to read this book. I just think it's just a beautiful story and it's tragic and sad and beautiful, but it couldn't end any other way than it did. So. Oh, I think I read this in two sittings. It was just beautifully written, beautifully told. And look at this cover. And, and as you all know, the inside's gorgeous. I've shown you before with the, the checkerboard. And you've got the heart on one side and the Joker's crest on the other. And yeah, again, this was a five out of star, five star read for me. I absolutely adored this book. So those are the books that I really loved in 2016. I cannot wait to see what I'm going to really love in 2017 and of course I will be sharing them all with you here on booktube. Um, I'm so excited to go into the new year on with, with you guys. Um, obviously it's still my first year on booktube. I started in May. I'm loving it. So but that's all for now. Um, I'll be back fairly shortly probably with more books because that's why we're here right? I'll see you soon. Bye!